All right, so the question comes up a little bit. It's been coming up a little bit of the question about whether or not right now, you're sitting at a loss. Do you sell, take the loss, and then either A, buy back lower, or just buy back now and, and just move from one, maybe it's an altcoin, one altcoin to another, or just you know do a, an, an, a little counting trick where you sell for a loss, deduct the loss on your taxes, but then use the proceeds to buy back into the market basically immediately so that it's a it's a it's a paper loss you you buy claim the deduction so that you have a deduction you can claim then buy back in so that you reset your basis for for when the market goes up so i'm not a tax i can't advise you on taxes i can't advise you on finances or anything like that um and you know i can reflect on my personal situation, but I'm not going to do that in YouTube video. I would just say this. The most important thing is that you're thinking about this and thinking about taxes, because that's a vital part of what happens now. And, and what makes sense for you may be very specific to your specific tax situation. If you haven't had a chance to look at your taxes, do it now, because whether the market goes down or whether it goes up, you're going to be responsible. In basically every country, for anybody who subscribe, who any country you're subscribing to my newsletter from, there is a tax provision of some kind that covers when the value of your things go up or down, and then you buy or sell. And so you want to know what that is. So, like for for example, here, you can yeah, you could do exactly what I said, where if you're in the United States and you're sitting at a loss, you bought something for ten dollars, it's now at five dollars. If it's cryptocurrency. You can sell it immediately, take a five dollar deduction on your taxes, and that's twenty or twenty to thirty five percent real money back in your pocket, depending on what your tax situation is. And but you also have to consider that now what you're buying with those proceeds is now the basis for that is at five dollars instead of ten dollars. So if it goes back up to ten dollars, you're on the hook for five dollars worth of gains. Whereas if you didn't do anything, and it goes back to ten dollars. You don't have a tax liability at all. It's even. You're even on where you, you bought in. And so there are all these other things that you that I would advise you look into. Uh, ideally, you'll have somebody who can advise you. I know from my personal experience, there are not a lot of people who understand crypto, but the basics of, of selling assets and what that means for a tax return, that is something where the knowledge is, is pretty broad for anybody who has an accounting tax prep or you know CPA, things like that anybody who has that background. But there are nuances of crypto that I think that personally I feel are vague, they're ambiguous to begin with, and there are a lot of people who just don't have that experience to really know what that means in a larger context. But you at least check with somebody, talk to somebody. And once you do, then hopefully you have a little bit of a better idea of what you might want to do for yourself. And that may even bleed into some other questions that you'll probably want to ask yourself now about sort of how you think about the taxes and the tax implications and the consequences of the decisions, not just that you make today, but that you're going to make as you stick with the crypto market. So if that helps, relax and enjoy the ride.